Critics of the New York Post say the cartoon evoked historically racist images, appearing to compare President Obama to a raging chimpanzee who'd been shot by police. Today, the paper apologized. Well, sort of. In a statement, the Post said the cartoon was meant to mock what it called an ineptly written stimulus bill. And, quote, to those who were offended by the image, we apologize. But it also said some of its critics, quote, see the incident as an opportunity for payback, adding, to them, no apology is due. Critics said that's not enough. Clearly, they don't know the difference between offensive art and satire. And the apology is good, but now let's get to policy. As an artist, you have a right to say what you want. But when the chips fall, you got to stand up and own up for what you did. So is this really a non-apology? It was very sullen and insolent and sort of blaming everyone else rather than taking responsibility. Very much like a 13-year-old. Typically unflappable New Yorkers appear torn. It's really kind of a non-apology, and I think that uh, having published it was absolutely inexcusable and a colossal exercise of poor judgment. It's sufficient. I mean, I think it apologizes to anybody that was offended, and yet I think it upholds, in a way, their right to, to publish freedom of, freedom of the press.